I watch these movies religiously, like since they came up, came out, and I watch them again and again, and because they're they're, you know, they are the highest level of perfection for this kind of, of entertainment. You know, I analyze them, love them first, and analyze them afterwards. So I knew everything about it, in, inside and out. So it really helped me uh, uh, look at the themes. You know, because movies are you know plot theme, plot character, but theme very importantly. And when I arrived in London, I was quite clear about what I wanted to do theme wise. You know, it's the beginning of of the end, so. It's, it needs to be the total sum, and yet something completely different, with a new villain, with new stakes, real stakes. And and but but knowing what was what this franchise was about, I could take it all in and really focus it, and that really helped me. I like having fun when I direct. I like having fun directing. I like the audience to have fun. I like the the, the actors to have fun while th this is happening. It is true entertain entertainment on a massive canvas. Because Fast and Furious is seen on the biggest screens around the world. You know, IMAX, Dolby Vision, I mean, you name it. You, you will experience this movie on a giant format. So what a better way for me and a better canvas for me. And I had, I had all my, you know, all, you know, this giant canvas, all the toys that I want. I mean, I love my toys. I, will, I, cr I would create stuff and I would create, that's my thing. It's like, if I don't make a movie where I create camera moves that have never been done before or equipment that have never, never been done before, I haven't done my job. So that's what I tried to do, you know, from the get go. Obviously I had no runway, but I had the best crew, really honestly, the best crew in the world. I didn't change anyone, didn't bring anyone. I was like, this is literally the best crew in the world. Let's go! <laughs> My big brother twin is Vin Diesel. I have spent so much time with him, with this amazing man, on set, after work, like every night, every night, two, three, four hours every night, thinking about the next day, the next week, the next month, the next projects you know we were we were thinking about it not as you know there's a fire we need to put out we we're like okay it's it's firm ground we need to make it work uh, let's make let's make the best version of it and we're like saying how can we plus it up every day every scene how can we make it the best scene possible how can we give the other actors the best arc possible the newcomers you know Brie Larson like Brie Larson and I were in the same plane together and <laughs> we arrived on the same day. You know, she was jet lagged, I was jet lagged. I didn't have, you know, firm footing in there. And we really helped each other finding the character through Vin and Vin really helped. And Vin is tire a tireless worker. Like we worked every weekend, we still do. Uh, he, you know, he, he's been an amazing, amazing partner. Dom this time, He's worried, worried for his family and worried for the world. The stakes are real. He's met his match. This enemy is a snake. We don't know where he's going. It's strange to have an enemy who adores you, uh, who, who, you know, who, ha who has analyzed you and has learned from you for 20 years and who's trying to mimic you. And, and when you have that, it, it's very strange. It's like having an obsessed fan. I mean, the man is so, so funny, so deep. We, we were like, we, we loved it. And, 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 and he, he and I clicked on exactly what I like on this, this, this you know, the, the filmmaking on the edge of like, you know, is it comedy, is it, is it thrilling? Are you scared Are you, you know, you want to love your, you know, your antagonist. I mean, for me, the best villains, the best antagonists are the ones you fall in love with, you know, who, who you, you know, whose target, a goal you understand and I think we, we did this we actually worked so hard to to make that work um, uh, and make that make that pop and he he's so funny he, he and it throws Dom off Dom is Dom is used to having strong antagonists instead of him but to have a you know slithery slippery fan in front of you who loves everything you're saying, who loves you, who adores you, but also knows exactly what you're going to do. Well, now that's scary.
It was hard because we only had four Academy Awards uh, uh, winner in this in this movie. Uh, <laughs> it's like it's incredible. We, the cast, literally, like you know, the first two three weeks, get for me me the exterior person walking into this set had legend after legend after legend coming into on my set. Me directing them so much so that I had to sort of like punch. You know, you know, pump, uh, have myself up in the morning, looking in my mirror, mirror. I was like, okay, okay, you're directing the Seven Furious, today's Charlie Theron, tomorrow it's <laughs> Rita Moreno, then you have Brie Larson. And again, it was, like, it was so hard, it was like, I literally had to look at everyone, like, I'm their director, you know, I'm not their boss, their collaborator, I need to know my stuff. I mean, they were very, like, everybody was very nice, everybody knew that I was, <laughs> I was just the guy who was dropped in, and, but, you know, that works for one or two takes. By take three, I'm the director, and I better direct them and give them the strong direction, and you know, and answer the question. When there's a, why am I doing this? What's my motivation? It's not just to mess me up. It actually because they need it, and because I I knew all these movies, and I had these great talks with Vin and the rest of the cast, I was able to answer, and that really really helped everyone, and including me.